Have you ever found yourself traveling or in the great outdoors wishing you had a reliable power source? Whether you're camping, fishing, or simply exploring off the grid, power could be a game changer. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to transform your portable tool battery that you already have in your arsenal into a versatile power hub with just one simple addition, an inverter. So this doesn't happen. You can actually charge your devices, run small electronics, and keep your adventure going strong, no matter where you are. I think you honestly be pretty surprised at what you can run off of this setup, but more about that later. And the best part, you probably already have most of what you need. So let's dive in and see how this device will supercharge your adventures. I'm referring to the Milwaukee brand name, the Top Off Power Supply, and a standard M18 battery, to which I already have laying around. Now, keep in mind that these inverters are specific to brand. You can find generic versions that are right around $49.99. However, if you want to get a brand name like this Milwaukee one, you can find them online, specifically on Amazon, for about $99. And if you want, I'm going to be providing links down low so that you can see the generic versus the brand name ones. Now, let's look at the pros and the cons of using the tool batteries with the inverter versus a traditional battery bank. When considering a power tool battery and an inverter, you'll have to look at the power capacity. Now, the average power tool battery ranges from 2 to 12 amp hours or more compared to the average battery bank, which typically offers around 10,000 milliamp hours or 10 amp hours. This can provide a substantial power boost. Now, a traveling battery bank is compact, weighing anywhere from about 200 to 300 grams with the standard capacity of a 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank. But keep in mind, you could buy a variety of capacities which could fit within your budget. In contrast, the standard power tool battery, like a five amp hour, 18 volt battery, weighs approximately 700 to 800 grams and provides 90 watt hours or five amp hours at 18 volts. This is roughly equivalent to eight 2,500 milliamp hour battery banks at 3.6 volt, showing a significant power capacity advantage despite the added bulk. Now, when looking at the pros, honestly, the power tool and the inverter is multi-use. Instead of buying a separate battery bank, you can just utilize the batteries that you already own, maximizing their use. Durability, these batteries are built to withstand tough conditions such as job sites, making them reliable even in the most rugged travel conditions. And they traditionally are fast charging. So power tool batteries often have fast charging capabilities, reducing the downtime when you need to recharge. There are some cons to consider. It's obviously larger. The power tool batteries are bulkier compared to the sleek nature of the travel battery banks. And they do require some additional equipment such as the inverter itself. Compatibility, not every power tool battery is compatible with inverters and not all inverters work with every device. While using power tool batteries as travel banks offer impressive capabilities and durability, the added size and the need for additional and or extra equipment is an important consideration. If you're a DIY maker slash woodworker who already owns these batteries and doesn't mind the extra bulk, then this could be a practical solution, allowing you to cycle through your batteries effectively. Reviews of these inverters often show high satisfaction with ratings averaging about 4.6 out of 5 on Amazon. Well, at least the Milwaukee brand inverter. Whether you're looking for a heavy duty power solution or just a compact, easy to use option, there's a setup that is right for you. So get started on making your adventures power packed. All right, you guys, so I got some bonus material for you, not just because you stuck around to the end of the video, but you've also managed to hit that like button, which I appreciate, thank you very much. I wanted to show you that, guys, for these, I've owned these batteries for a long time and I've bought battery banks. 
Not because I didn't know they existed, but because I just overlooked it. When you get these sort of batteries, you just assume it's for your tools and that's for that. But I didn't really make the, I didn't know, I just didn't connect it together that you could take these and use them for so many different other functions. Bonus wise, I wanna show you. You can also buy traditionally one, like this is a, a rigid one that goes on. It's not an inverter. Keep in mind, an inverter is something that will take the direct current or the DC current from these battery, batteries and change it into an alternating current or AC, which is what the plug is. So for this one, not only can you use this for a, a USB charger um, to charge, let's say a phone or whatnot while you're camping or something of that nature, but this one, they've also got for rigid, you can buy this LED strip light that will uh, accordion style will just kind of fold up. But the fun thing about that is you can plug this in to your normal, uh, battery power and then you can turn this on and then you can adjust the levels levels just by adjusting the button which is kind of a cool function 